Hello, everybody, and welcome to Saturn Oil and Gas's channel. Just want to let you guys know what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be running through company updates, industry updates, answering any questions you guys have for us. If you have any during any of this, don't be afraid to send them over. And of course, introducing members of the team and talking about the company. So who better to kick us off for video number one and Chief Executive Officer, John Jeffrey. John, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks very much for having me. Good, good. Glad to have you on. So 2021 was a very eventful year for Saturn, right? You grew the company's production 3,000% in a calendar year. How did you manage to do this? Yeah, 2021 was a big year for Saturn. We started in Q1 with just over 300 barrels a day production. And in Q4, we averaged over 7,200. So no moment was bigger in uh, 2021 than when we closed the Oxbow acquisition. So we did that in June, which really put Saturn on that new, new growth plan. So the Oxbow acquisition is a perfect asset to build a world-class energy company with. Produces high quality oil that receives a premium uh, sales price, has a very low production decline, meaning long life cash flow, has a massive reserve base, which we just came out with last week with over 50 million barrels of oil equivalent. And there are hundreds of drilling locations with, that means we can grow and keep production flat for the next few decades. Well, John, I mean, this practically sounds like an overnight success story. Yeah, no doubt the acquisition transformed the company, but it's far from an overnight task. It actually took about a year to get the deal to the finish line. So we started pursuing it back in 2020, which was a very tough year for energy companies. And really, it was a tough year for everybody. Oil had crashed below zero in the spring. Oil companies were going bankrupt and key assets were coming up for sale that rarely get to the market. The sellers of Oxbow were a multi-billion dollar market cap company, and they were just looking to reduce debt and focus their production on a few key areas, so they were a motivated seller. But when we started negotiating there in the late summer of 2020, oil prices just only started to recover. So we started about $40 US. By the time we got uh, to a deal in, in early 2021, oil was around 60 65 and when we closed the deal, oil was just above that $70 range. So to this rising price environment, we're able to lock in a very attractive cash price of approximately $80 million. So at the time we expected the asset to generate about 65 million of cash flow in the next 12 months. So we were really happy to, to get it for a 1.2 times cash flow, especially considering we had that 20 year reserve life. But so admittedly, it was really great timing. Okay, so an overnight six story, like a year in the making then, right, instead. And now oil is around $100. So how does that affect your guys' plans here? Yeah, so initially what we wanted to do with the asset was to repay the debt and just kind of maintain the production level. Uh, but now that oil is over $100 a barrel, we've had the opportunity to accelerate our growth to really add that shareholder value. So we raised an additional equity proceeds in Q1 of this year. And we've announced a fully funded, aggressive uh, CapEx program of $50 million for 2022. We're going to be drilling 34 new wells um, with a goal to increase year over year production of anywhere from 15 to 20 percent. And we're seeing that growth already. The drilling that we've done in Q1, if you look back to last August, our post production, we were on 6,700 barrels. And right now we're well over a thousand barrels ahead of that today. So really in a great spot for 2022. Interesting, but does this growth come at the expense of paying down the acquisition debt? Yeah, not at all. Um, so we're still on track this year. Uh, we'll have about $38 million of debt uh, paid down. So we should reduce our net debt to about 45%. Um, you know, we believe that a dollar of reducing debt is a dollar going back to the shareholders. And that debt reduction gives us that financial flexibility to make future acquisitions if they come up. So by just continuing to repay that debt and manage our leverage, uh, I think it's going to open up opportunities for us in the future. So it's definitely going to be a, a focus of ours moving forward. Good, good. And looking at some of the new research reports on Saturn, you have a much lower valuation than some of your peers. Can you elaborate on why that is? Well, we've been operating below the radar um, you know, since we really got going in about 2017. I'm sure for a lot of people viewing this video, it'll be the first time hearing the Saturn name. But the Oxbow acquisition has been a game changer for Saturn. It's taken us to that new level of production uh, and that next level of cash flow. It, it hasn't even been a full year since we closed the acquisition. So we are just getting started. Currently, we trade at less than two times cash flow, while our peers trade between three and five times their cash flow. But we'll get there. Uh, if we keep putting up the great results, we believe the marketing, uh, the market will see value in what we're doing here. Very well said, John. And like you said, we'll be have some more exciting updates coming for everybody. If you guys have any questions about any of this, don't be afraid to send them over to us. But for now, John, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks very much.